Hi, I'm Liz from Caravan Guard Insurance. Unfortunately, motorhome theft can and does happen as thieves are becoming more sophisticated in overcoming and targeting a motorhome standard security devices. There are a number of extra products available which can be installed onto your motorhome to beef up its standard security, but also act as a visible deterrent to thieves. In this video, we look at some products that you might consider to protect your camper van or motorhome from theft or breaking. So first up, let's look at motorhome steering wheel locks. Steering wheel locks are a highly visible deterrent which prevent the steering wheel from being used. They fit easily onto and through a steering wheel and lock in place. The rotation of this steering wheel is inhibited by correctly placing the lock so it interferes with either the windscreen or the driver's seat. There are a wide variety on the market but Caravan Guard recommends sold secure standard products, which have undergone a stringent testing that proves their resilience and effectiveness. Wheel clamps come in a wide variety of price points and designs. Wheel clamps should cover all or part of the wheel nuts and wrap around the tyre in some way. Wheel clamps are highly visible and easy to install. As previously mentioned, look for the sold secure logo. Products which meet the sold secure standard have been attack tested by the technicians to assess their resilience. Security products that are sold secure compliant should withstand an attack for a minimum amount of time and their resilience is then graded in terms of attack resistance. This wheel clamp for example has been given the gold rating. If you store your motorhome at home, adding a post or barrier to your driveway will slow down any attempt to remove vehicles from your property. Posts should be spaced on the driveway so any vehicles cannot be driven around them, and vehicles should be driven nose first to make removal even more complex. Posts can come in a variety of styles. One style is to have the receiver installed into the driveway and the post is locked in place. Another style is to have the post unlocked and bent over. Of course, if you do have garden gates, keep these shut and pallets when not in use, and park any other vehicles to block in the motorhome. If, however, you store your motorhome at a storage site, make sure you check up on it regularly. Checking all doors and windows and making sure that any security items that you have are intact and have not been tampered with. Locking the pedals on a motorhome is another security option. Clutch claw it fits around the clutch pedal and mechanically attaches it to the brake pedal. When using a clutch claw, it's a good idea to leave the vehicle in gear, so preventing the vehicle from being freewheeled away. The clutch claw can be used on manual gearboxes and can be used on the brake pedal of automatic transmissions too. As motorhomes become more reliant on technology, thieves are finding more ingenious ways to compromise the onboard systems. One such method is using key fobs, which are used to unlock and start the motorhome. Thieves use a combination of technologies to remotely detect the signal from a key fob, intercept it and clone the signal to open the doors and start the engine. Placing the key fob within a Faraday bag or pouch and keeping the keys as far away from the motorhome as possible will reduce the chances of this happening. A Faraday pouch severely limits the radio signal from the key fob. It's also worth remembering to keep your motorhome keys out of sight from windows and doors inside your property. Another method exploiting technology uses the onboard diagnostics or OBD ports. OBD ports access the onboard computers and they are mostly used by mechanics to check systems and diagnose faults within the vehicle. Thieves can sometimes use the OBD ports to disable the motorhome immobiliser. Adding a simple lock to cover the port will slow anyone wishing to access the OBD port. The AutoWatch Go system is a third party immobiliser which requires the driver to press a unique sequence of dashboard or steering wheel buttons before starting the vehicle. This is particularly effective against thieves who steal the keys for the vehicle. Adding an extra lock that either covers the existing habitation door lock or the door frame prevents the door from being opened. Motorhome habitation door locks come in a variety of styles, either with a lockable handle or as an extra cover to cover the lock. The lockable handle design also creates an extra grab handle, perfect for anyone that has limited mobility or requires stability when entering or exiting the motorhome. There are also extra locks for the driver's cab door, which are mounted either on the outside or the inside of the door. 
Most home windows usually use plastic latches to hold the window secure, but the design of these windows means the latches can sometimes be manipulated from the outside. Adding some simple covers and protectors to the window latches reduces the possibility of unauthorised entry into the motorhome. These window locks come in different shapes and sizes depending on the window latch style and can be easily installed within a few seconds. Many motorhomers will choose to have an alarm installed, mostly for peace of mind as it provides an audible alert should the motorhome be broken into or moved. But also to obtain an insurance premium discount or to meet a security requirement of an insurance policy. Generally, insurers only recognise systems which carry Thatcham Category 1 approval, which effectively is an alarm which is linked to an engine immobiliser. All motorhome base vehicles produced since the late 1990s will have an immobiliser fitted as standard, and therefore a retrofitted Thatcham 2 to 1 alarm upgrade will allow an owner to meet the Thatcham Category 1 level of security. It's always advisable to seek out a specialist in motorhome alarm fitment to make sure that installation is compliant with the prescribed Thatcham Category 1 level standards. And also to make sure that door and window contact points or sensors are in place to cover all access points across the cabin habitation areas and even external storage garages and lockers. Some dealerships have also unique security solutions, such as Richard Baldwin Motorhomes. They have designed this DPS 360 system, which includes four CCTV cameras to give a 360 degree coverage of the vehicle whilst it's stationary or whilst it's being driven. The cameras are linked to a split screen monitor for use when manoeuvring and also to a Thatcham Category 1 alarm system, as well as an onboard NDVR which records all the activity it sees around the vehicle. Tracking devices have become increasingly popular, especially on high value vehicles such as motorhomes. Several manufacturers now fit these as standard to motorhomes leaving their factories. Again, insurance discounts are usually available for Thatcham approved systems. The current Thatcham standards are Thatcham S7 and S5. One key point to remember is that you'll usually need to pay an annual subscription of around £100 to keep these devices professionally monitored 24-7 and for the recovery support in the event of a theft. Caragard will always advise a motorhome owner to fit a proactive system as these are linked to a motion sensor or your motorhome alarm. If your vehicle is moved or broken into, an alert is sent to the tracking device operating centre. This means the tracking process can begin almost immediately, given the best chance of a speedy recovery. So there you go, there's some extra security products that you can fit to your motorhome to help protect it from theft. And don't forget to tell your insurance provider what security devices you have fitted to your motorhome when setting up or renewing your insurance policy, as some of these could attract an insurance discount. For more hints and tips, why not head on over to the Caravan Guard website and if you found this video useful, why not like and share? So thanks for watching and happy motorhoming.